Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about 5G in detail, what we call as a 5G deep dive course and here we'll be covering 5G RAN, 5G RAN architecture, 5G RAN uh, functionalities and their working in detail. So our first topic would be 5G RAN. Here we'll be talking about different type of 5G implementation and 5G architecture. So our first topic would be 5G architecture. So 5G architecture is having a uh, G node B in it. What we have LTE node B in LT. We have G node B in 5G architecture. We have uh, G node B connected to another G node B through XN interface. We have UU interface between UE and G node B. G node B have has two uh, blocks in it, uh, which is central unit and distributed unit. Central unit and distributed unit are connected to F1 interface. Distributed unit is connected to radio unit, which is working as normal uh, remote radio unit or remote radio head, what we call it as. And that G node B is connected to UE through UU interface. Here we have a mobile edge computing cloud, which is having a control unit and virtual network functions. This is also connected to indoor secondary cell which can uh, which, which may be operating in a particular house and giving services to uh, different UEs and equipments. Uh, in, in indoor secondary cell we have distributed unit which has a uh, connectivity to different UEs which can be through UU and visible light communication as well. This mobile edge computing cloud is connected to uh, data networks and uh, similar uh, core uh, network is also pro uh, provided uh, for 5G which is we call as a 5GC and which is connected to G node B and that 5GC is connected to data network on the back end and uh, another type of mobile edge computing cloud we have two blocks which is which is which are user plane function and control unit and another kind of Secondary cell can also be implemented through a connection to a distributed unit to central unit and that secondary cell can be used for a added capacity requirements. This digital, uh, this uh, distributed unit can be connected to another uh, distributed unit and then a radio unit for giving a secondary cell services. Basically compa uh, capacity en enhancement uh, solution and this is all types of uh, basically network functions which are there in 5G architecture if we talk about the block diagram. So let's move on to the uh, a normal basic 5G new RAN architecture uh, where we'll be uh, talking about normal basic block diagram how the new generation core is connected to new RAN uh, where e, uh, e node B is connected to another E node B through XN interface and E node B is connected to G node B through XN interface and then these all uh, E node B's are connected to the NGC new generation core which is having new generation control plane and user plane gateway function. Uh, this is normal diagram which shows how it uh, is connect, are they connected in each other in a simple way. Uh, the important thing is that we have network functions in the new RAN architecture. We don't have network elements as they were in LTE. So what is a network function? Network function is a logical node within a network infrastructure that has a well-defined external interfaces and well-defined functional behavior. So two things. One, they have a external interfaces. Secondly, they have a well-defined function, but they are all logical nodes. They have, uh, they are dynamic. They can be used as per the flexibility. They can be used as per the requirement. Their location can be changed. Their functions can be changed as per the requirement and application to be implemented. 